Yeah. DJ Andrew. I just want to wish RVR 24-7 nothing but blessings, nothing but prosperity. I made it always, always be a shining example for the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's go. Right now. I know it sounds patriotic. So you put your country first, then you got it. I have a solution. I'm about to start a Christian revolution. Jesus first. Is that me talking about? Jesus first. I want to holler, jump and shout. Jesus first. Tell it all about. I don't care if they want to. <laughs> yeah. DJ Andrew. Man, I tell ya, RVR 24-7. You know it sounds patriotic, so you put your country first, then you got What we tell them? I have a solution. Who come first? I'm about to start a crusade. Everybody now. Jesus first. Is that me talking about? Jesus first. I'm a Hannah jump and shout. Jesus first. Tell it all about. I don't care if they want to keep me up. Jesus the Messiah, if you trust in him, he will take you higher. Jesus is my leader, so I don't need to care for them and them visa. Jesus first, is that me talking about Jesus first? I wanna holler, jump and jump. Jesus first, tell it all about, I don't care if them want to keep me young. Jesus is my healer, and every day of the week, He's getting sweeter. Jesus make me jump. So I'm not keen for worrying about President Trump. Jesus first. Is that me talking about? Jesus first. I wanna have a jump and shoot. Jesus first. Tell it all about. I don't care if them can't shoot me out. So you put your country first, well, thank God I'm not the worst. Them could have hollow and bomb, but I don't give up both them for the world. Jesus first, is that me talking about? Jesus first, I wanna holler, jump and shout. Jesus first, tell it all about, I don't care if they want to keep me up. When DJ Andrew makes heaven is my home now, there's a welcome to for each and every Christian Lovely location Don't have to worry about immigration Jesus first Is that me talking about? Jesus first I wanna holla jump and shout Jesus first Tell it all about I don't care if they want to When DJ Andrew makes Heaven is my home Start to preach about that one day you got to die. I sit there and I tremble, and the tears flow from my eyes. I can feel the small knocking at my side. So I went up to the altar, Lord, and I knelt down in prayer. The saints gather around me, brother, and they started to pray with me. I can feel all the difference inside. Me, you know. But I went on rejoicing, brother, and now I am on my own. Somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. Somebody pray. 
Hold it, hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. I, 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 <laughs> I just remember this one. I, I have to share this one with you. You see, there, there's this pastor. We're back in church again. There, there's this pastor who, who said, um, anybody who gives uh, the biggest offering this morning will get the opportunity to choose today's hymn. And, and, and people started, you know, giving everything they have. They dig in their purses and in their pockets and, and give all they had. But then the pastor realized that somebody sent a thousand dollars. And he said, who is this generous person? Who it is that sent up a thousand dollars? Come up, you are the one who will get the opportunity to choose today's hymn. And so from way down in the back of the room comes a 92-year-old lady on her walking stick and she's, I'm coming, minister, I'm coming. Come on, sister, congratulations. You have given bountifully to the Lord. Come on up and choose your hymn of the day. So she went up, she stood before the congregation and she picked out three of the most handsome men in the audience and she said, I choose him and him and him. DJ <laughs> Start to preach about that one day you got to die. I sit there and I tremble, and the tears flow from my eyes. I can feel the small knocking at my side. I'm gonna give you one more. To the one more. Lord, and I knelt down in prayer. The saints gather around me, brother, and they started to pray with me. Man, as Christian, you gotta know to laugh. France inside. Me, but I went on rejoicing, brother, and now I am on my own. Everybody now. Pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. Somebody pray for me. No, no, no. Now, now for, for those of you, <laughs> for those of you who like to go to weddings, and, and I know we have some wedding crashes in here. No, 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 no. I, I know you're Christians and everything, but I know sometimes, you, you know, you just walk in there and the, the bride is saying, who is that? The groom is saying, who is that? Nobody knows you're from Adam. Anyways, that's beside the point. What I want to tell you is, when you go to people wedding, be careful how you eat, especially if you wear false teeth. No, you see, I don't have anything against false teeth, you know. I am not wearing any yet, but who knows? All right, I'm just saying be careful. You see, this, this lady, she was supposed to give a toast at a wedding and she, she having her nice false teeth, she paid a lot of money for it. But it so happened that they served the food before it was time for the toast. And here she was, chewing on a piece of chicken bone and broke her denture. So she like with the mash mouth, she said, oh my goodness, how am I ever going to go up here and give a toast without my teeth? So a man was sitting beside her and the man said, lady, don't worry, I can help you. And he went inside his, his pants pocket and he gave her a pair of denture. And she tried it and it was too big, it was falling out. She said, no man, this can't work, it's too big. So the man said, don't worry, I can still help you. Gave her another pair of denture and this one was too tight. And she said, mm, man, it was too tight, man. So you can imagine the lady's frustration at this time. So near to teeth and still so far. But the man continued, he said, miss, I can still help you, don't worry. So this time he went inside the breast part of his jacket, you know, and gave her another pair of denture. And when she tried it this time, it fit perfectly. So she was so happy, she said, thank you, Mr. Dentist, thank you, sir. The man said, no, I'm not a dentist. I'm just a local Paul Bearer. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is Alan Doyle from Santos Studios. You're listening to DJ Andrew.